Welcome to the University of Nottingham podcast. I've been always interested in the relationship between uh, photography and truth and uh, I believe that uh, the impact of digital technologies in photography has changed dramatically the um, link that uh, photography uh, has held historically with uh, the idea of being a lateral transcription of reality. When you select one of the images then you must type words that you feel associated to that image, for instance, uh, hero. And then you see all the images available in the internet in real time. This is right now connected to the word hero. I think that uh, digital technologies uh, return photography to the stage of um, uh, drawing or writing. This is uh, constructing a message uh, with uh, a certain number of uh, small unities, uh, being the pixels. And uh, uh, both um, the, the, the landscapes, uh, what, what I call orogenesis, or the, the Google grams, the pictures uh, done with the uh, images captured through the uh, image search tool in Google, are ways to approach a new, uh, new method of image making in which the normal translation of a real model into a depiction is completely changed, is based in uh, mathematic models, in algorithms, in, in other ways than the uh, traditional uh, appearance of things, traditional uh, mimesis. It's a kind of an exhibition of two parts really and um, the uh, work behind me is an example of the other series, uh, which is called um, Orogenesis, or um, Landscapes Without Memory. Orogenesis is the uh, branch of physical geography which um, relates to the formation of mountains and, and relief features. And um, it's, it, it's related very much to the Google Grams in, in that, um, again, it it, it uses another piece of um, uh, technology, a, a piece of um, computer software uh, called Terrigen, which is um, uh, designed really for use by the military or for scientific purposes. And what, what the software does is to uh, read cartographic um, information, two-dimensional data, and to um, translate that into these um, three-dimensional landscape models, so essentially virtual um, landscapes. Now, what um, Joanne's um, creative take on this technology is that instead of using the software on cartographic or satellite um, data, he's actually training it onto reproductions of iconic landscapes by other artists, other 20th century artists. This piece behind me um, is actually um, the source material for this is a painting by um, Salvador Dali, um, which is quite apt because he's from the same part of the world as, um, as Juan is. So I think the, the wonderful thing about these is that when you first walk into the gallery, um, they're very convincing and you, you, it's only after a while when you start looking at them and you're thinking, actually there's something not, um, not right about this. The, so what we're presented with is, a, is, is almost a kind of a, um, a, a primeval world. Um, perhaps we might say the, exactly that kind of nature which um, man is, is um, fast destroying. This landscape, uh, the source um, material for this is surprisingly one of um, um, 
Piet Mondrian's um, early works, which is which actually a very sort of um, abstract or schematized painting of a tree. Um, I mean, some of these, you know, they're, they're so far removed from the source material that it's uh, it would be very difficult to to work out what is actually used. I usually start the day with a uh, strong coffee and a newspaper, <laughs> and I like to uh, underline, highlight uh, some news or some uh, articles I'm interested. I, I, you know, I keep them. I do a, a sort of. Uh, uh, clipping archives and uh, this is my uh, scrapbook I mean this is uh, what it's usually inspiring me when um, I started the Google Gram series uh, it was the moment that uh, the Iraq war was on the air and of course all the uh, events uh, at that moment uh, were very uh, shocking and, and uh, composed uh, sort of uh, political context uh, which was inspiring for me. That's the reason a lot of uh, the artworks here deal with uh, recent uh, uh, political aspects of, uh, of uh, the current news. Um, I think that uh, artwork uh, should uh, uh, provoke strong reactions. I mean, uh, I, I don't like that uh, visitors uh, remain passive when they look at my work. I think that uh, uh, my, my uh, responsibility is, is to provoke some struggle. And of course, in that context, uh, uh, the, the reaction depends on your own uh, political beliefs. I mean, that's depending on, on your credo. Uh, would you agree that uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, decisions, political decisions uh, which should be criticized, uh, do, do you share that decision or uh, you complain about it? So people will react accordingly their own uh, political positions.